In order to get a nice flat wash, it's important that this particular section is done well. You'll notice that I put a little water on to start off with. I'm smoothing it out and I should put some more, add a little bit more of water in order for it to run down. Taking up and filling your brush with the mix that you have made, go across the page very, not rapidly, but at a fairly fast rate. You'll notice it seems a little bit stripy at the moment, and as you go down the page it's getting less. Leave it at that stage, and as your board is at a slight angle, it will slowly creep down the page, allowing the bottom part to be lighter. Don't worry if it's still stripy at this age, it will get better. I'm just putting in a few clouds, a little bit of tissue paper, kitchen roll, not toilet paper, that fluffs up too much. Um, and there you go, there's some now to add some base to the clouds, I've used a little ultramarine with some brown madder. You can use a little crimson, but it, you've got to be very careful it doesn't go quickly towards the red. Here comes the horizon line, water. Again, using the 1.5 inch brush um, or a 1 inch brush, whichever you feel happy with, but it's nice to do with a flat brush. Now to do some of the detail, um, this is the common roof and you'll see I made a mistake there. It goes over, not just flat round because it's a very difficult shape to do actually. Um, here's where observation comes in, looking at the angle of those. those. Those are tiles and so you get the shadows underneath the tiles. Lighter on the left hand side. add the rim which is gold so I've used raw sienna there just as starters back onto shadows again this is ultramarine and brown madder the Winsor Newton brown madder is the best as far as I'm concerned they do vary in manufacturers considerably some are much more red than others um, Winsor Newton's tends to be on the pink side which is perfect for making purple very complicated building this but if you pay attention to just the shapes and the shadows it'll produce it reproduce it I should say quite efficiently watch your lines too bearing in mind in this particular case we're overlooking the building I've kept this part of the video to normal speed so that you can see how delicate it is at this stage. And I'm now using my size 8 round brush. Helps to get into a corner or keep a line straight or whatever. Work with the ones that you like to work but don't have them too small because if your brush is too small, you're constantly refilling it and therefore putting extra colour in where it's probably not needed. I haven't refilled my brush yet, so it goes to show that that's holding a nice amount of, of uh, colour. There's a little protuberance there, which is a doorway, so it's just catching the light. It may look a bit strange at this point. Then all my paintings look strange at one point. It's knowing what you want for the final result that is important. Much of this will be enhanced after I've finished putting colour all over. Or adjusted, made lighter, 
to make something lighter, just with a clean brush and clean wet brush, just um, if, especially if it's dried, just brush over the area you want to lighten, squeeze out the brush and lift off some of the paint. Bringing in the foreground bushes, so there's quite a lot about actually. Just it's, there's a little bit of underpainting this, so that there's more can be added as you see. I'll drop in some darker colours as it's drying. So it will spread up out slightly, making it look bushy, without interfering with a lighter colour. Put that in too early, it will spread right out completely, so be aware of that. Just adding some uh, of the darker green tones to give uh, credence to the bushes. Don't do this too early because it needs to dry slightly, otherwise it will just invade the colours you've already put in. Sorry about the jump there, I forgot to put the video on. Um, told you I was no good at video. The hills I did with um, the sap green with some brown madder in and possibly some raw sienna, give it a variation. I have refined it a little bit later as you can see from this picture, which is the final. There, If you look very close, there's a lot of additional bits and pieces in the background doing the same old thing, just keep on adding until you're happy with the depth and tone of the value of the colours. If you would like this video sent to your own email, just pop a note to me and I will send that to you. No charge.